Hey everybody, Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net. Got a nice one to bring you this week. 1994 Cadillac Fleetwood Brome. This car's got 50,000 miles. It's in a beautiful dark cherry with a shale leather interior. The car absolutely glistens in the sun. Not that we know what sun is because it's been raining out so much, but take a look at this car. Beautiful 50,000 mile car that shines nicely, shows well. This car would be a great driver for anybody who wants to drive a nice classy Cadillac with low mileage. I love how much chrome they put on these cars. You can see it glistening in the sun. These Fleetwoods were the last of the big rear wheel drive Cadillacs before they discontinued them in 96. Built in Arlington, Texas. This is the first year of this body style that came with the LT1 V8. Uh, kind of sought after drivetrain for these cars. 93 was a throttle body 350 and then 94 through uh, 96 when they discontinued them was the LT1 V8. It's got brand new Hankook white wall tires, uh, new front pads and rotors. It's got a brand new Delco battery. Uh, the car does everything it should. Runs and drives down the road very nicely. Needs a few minor cosmetic things. Uh, that's why I'm going to offer it at $79.95. A um, couple little touch-up spots that... Uh, need to be done to make this car a true true museum car i'll show a couple of the um, defects on the car you can take a look i don't know if you can see it in the camera here but there's a couple of uh well there's a few series of chips uh looks like in the hood you can kind of see the little white chips you get up close to it take a look there uh, some of the gold emblems on the car are kind of faded. There's a little scratch there, but you can see the gold is a little faded. The chrome on the car is very nice. The car is from West Virginia. Um, so it's, uh, it's a pretty clean car. Uh, another common flaw with these cars is these chrome spears here. You can see they're wrinkly. A uh, little bit of wax on that one. Forgive me for that. It does have the original Sungate windshield. For those who don't know what that is, it's like a solar tinted windshield. Kind of gives like a purplish effect to the, the car when you look at the windshield in the right light. A couple little scratches here. Uh, some marks touched up on the mirror on this side. The vinyl top is in beautiful condition. I believe this car was garage in a carport. And the reason I say that is because one side of the car has a few more blemishes on the other side. Uh, this side, you'll notice it still has all the original gray trim here. It's in nice shape. The other side, all this is worn off, which tells me the car was in a carport and the left side was exposed to the sun. Uh, a couple other little blemishes here, a little scratch, very light scratch. A couple little chips. Uh, rub mark on the rear strip. This was screwed back on. The strip is complete but the edge must have broke off at some point or come loose. Uh, a little bit of corrosion on the wheel here. You can also take all, all this stuff here. The gold is a little worn on it. Uh, that's chrome, don't know why. Gold here, bumper is nice and clean. Power antenna works. Paint has a nice shine to it. A couple of scratches on the, uh, the deck lid here. A couple little series of scratches. You can see this piece here, just like the other ones. Uh, the chrome is kind of flaking off of it. There is a guy who reproduces these in a polished uh, stainless or aluminum. Um, I have replaced 
custom four for customers and uh, they fit quite nicely it's a solid piece of stainless rather than this uh, chrome plated plastic little ding there a little ding there so you can see a scratch here notice down here you got a little bit of chrome peeling and it looks like a little bit of clear coat peeling I don't know if this quarter panel was painted or cleared over at one point you can see here on this side you can see what I mean this side is missing that gray color you can actually see where it wore off here I do have the original window sticker 94 Fleetwood in a dark cherry neutral leather uh, the car was a $37,000 car new. It was sold out of Bentley, Pontiac, Cadillac, and Huntsville, Alabama. Fleetwood Brome package, leather seat, security package. It's got a few options to it. Take a look. You can see the emblem's a little worn out there. So just little things um, that, that hold the car back. This one has a piece that, that came off. I do have one in the trunk for this left front that's in better condition than that. I will include it with the car in case you want to replace it. Uh, also a little bit of misalignment here in the front bumper. A little scuff right there. But take a look at the inside of the car. The inside's very nice, clean, uh, light tan interior. A little split right here, kind of a common spot when you roll in and out. Dash pad doesn't have any cracks or anything like that, which is kind of a weak spot for these cars, such a big dash pad. Let's see here, 50,076 miles. Radio works, power antenna works, um, all the lights work, wipers work. The only thing that doesn't work is the high beams. Uh, when you go and flick this back, it doesn't do anything. You can see here the cap is missing so I don't know if there's something broken in here uh, there is a piece in the glove box that looks like it would go in there probably to connect the high beam switch so that has to be looked at the interior like I said is very clean Whoops. I've been taking pictures up here for a long time and I've never seen a car come through here before. That would be a first. Technically I'm trespassing so we will make a stink about it. Got the dual vanity mirrors in the back here. Like I said the leather is in really nice shape. It's kind of hard to see. I'm sorry about the sun glare. But the carpet is very clean. The leather is very nice. Dual power seats, heated seats as well. Carpeting is a nice shape. are very clean. I'll take it for a quick spin and uh, I'll open up the uh, trunk and stuff. See if I can get in some shade for you. Anybody who's just finding this video now, uh, my name is Anthony, I'm from Specialty Motor Cars. Uh, I buy and sell a lot of these big Cadillacs, Buicks, Lincolns. Take a look at my Facebook page, specialtymotorcars.net. Also take a look at my uh, website. You'll see a lot of nice cars, cars that I've had in the past before. 
cars that are currently for sale and cars that were sold and some of my personal cars uh, you can take a look and see what I got uh, other thing I noticed needs a little bit of an alignment the wheel is just off just a hair um, but the car runs down the road very nicely like I said uh, new tires new front brakes it does uh, it does what it's supposed to do we'll pull into the shade over here so I can maybe get a better better showing of the interior we'll see who I'm gonna cut off here because nobody wants to let me go there we go now you can see pop the trunk pop the hood Very clean under here. No rust. Last Cadillac that was offered that had these. Those are the uh, headlamp and tail lamp monitors. That's the piece of chrome for the left front fender. Got a few little wrinkles in it, but it's in pretty nice shape. Got the spare tire. Locking trunk lock, uh, I'm sorry, locking trunk, uh, gee whiz, locking gas cap. <laughs> Does have the power trunk pull down, which works very well. Let's take another quick peek of the interior now that we're in the shade. I have the original window sticker. I do not have an owner's manual. I have one set of keys. And also, I don't have the factory floor mats. How that happened, I have no idea. These cars, it's funny how these cars, you know, age. And people take stuff out of them as they sell them, or throw things away. Owner's manuals are quite common. Everybody puts all these papers in them and personal stuff, and then just jams their fist in there and just grabs it all out and throws it away so the interior is in nice shape very clean 